Hey guys, and welcome back to another Zed Shelter episode. In today's episode, we're going to be continuing on with the Anderson Diary, the diary that we stole a couple episodes back from one of our raiding victims, and I was very surprised that it actually worked, so we're essentially just going through each one, one at a time, and completing each one. So, first thing there we had to do was explore the standard mine, and we have to search one chest in the standard mine and mine five iron ore deposits. So we have to be somewhat careful because there are stronger enemies here. So we just have to try and stay towards the outsides so that way we don't have to actually fight any of the tougher opponents. We do have to help Brutus out there for a little bit though. He was kind of getting his butt kicked. We don't want Brutus to die on us. We kind of need our, our faithful doggo companion to keep uh, us company on our journey. So once we've done this chest and we just have to explore, uh, or at least mine, two more iron deposits. Which clearly they're quite abundant in the standard mine, so we don't really have to worry about uh, finding them all that much. Because they're kind of there ready and waiting for us to grab. There's a couple enemies around that one so we'll see if we can find easier ones off to the side down over here where we might not have to actually fight anybody. I tried but oh, okay now this is the next thing. I now need to actually have wood and stone to make my pick because my pick died so now I have the wood but now I need to find the stone but I can't just use these guys I actually have to find the stone on the ground which is gonna kind of suck because if I can't find any on the ground then I might be stuck I'm not seeing any stones Aha. Uh -huh. Is that enough to make? Yes, it is. Okay. Dead. 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 And dead. But Brutus was stupid enough to get smucked by his spit. Okay. There we go. We have that journey complete. Let's collect and claim our rewards, and we'll see what we have next. Oh, we already did that one. And that one that we already did was build one refinery, workshop in your home, and upgrade to level 21. So now we need to put all the essential materials into the radio, and craft one tranquilizer bow in design. Okay, so this might actually kind of suck. So we're going to have to head back to our base to go craft a trank bow but I don't think I have the materials to craft them because I have to make a stupid stone thing. Okay, go away plane, I know you're there. We can go search you later. What do you got here for us? Nothing, still two more minutes before I get free coins. Fair enough. So I think I, like, normally I have everything I need to craft what I what I have, but it's just the it's just like stone weapon that I've never used in this game. It's essentially just a big rock you throw at your enemies. Never use it, so I never really created a stockpile of it to use, um, except for when I need to make a trank bow, which usually I made all my trank bows, so way I didn't have to make any more rocks. I just use them right away. But. Uh, that's probably not going to be the case this time. I'm probably going to have to make some so I can actually make another Trank Bow. I'll check first. I might have it, but I'm doubtful. Yep, see, so I need three of them. Okay, so off we go to go make three of them. Which kind of sucks. Because they take a minute. Each one. But I'm impatient, so I'm just going to spend the coins to do it instead. Okay, so now we're going to have enough to make Trank Bow. 
so then we will make that, we'll complete this mission in the Anderson Diary, and we'll see what else is on the docket for us to do. Craft this bad boy. And now I'm gonna go stuff this one right away off into my bow chest. And you'll see how many other ones I have and why I don't craft them that often. You can just see all of them there. Like that's a solid 11 trank bows now. Anyway, that's besides the point now. Let's go finish, complete this reward, claim it, which we're gonna get another bow, which is great, I guess. So we got that bow. And the next one is explore the veteran hunting grounds and capture one wolf by tranking him. So I guess we'll uh, grab our trank bows back. I probably won't need any more than that, but I really don't want to have to run back to get them if we can't get one of the wolves. Hopefully Brutus doesn't kill the wolf right away. Kind of be a pain in the ass, too. Okay, so we want to go off to the veteran hunting grounds, which is that's the novice, that's the bloody. Where is the veteran? There it is. Veteran hunting grounds. Off we go, and we have to go capture a wolf. Now, does it specify what type of wolf? Just one wolf. Okay. We can do that, and then we'll get a pair of pants. Yeah, it's, I guess is a good enough reward, right? Okay. This is when a dire wolf is going to be here, and he's just going to ruin my day. They're very, very rare to spawn in the veteran uh, hunting ground, but it can happen. I guess I need to actually put the trank bows in and on. And now I need to actually just find where these wolves are going to be at. Is that a wolf? Nope. Oh, uh, we got the boar coming for us, though. Now we'll hit this boar. Come on, Brutus. We got this guy, we got this guy, Brutus needs to have a couple more of his bones there, but we still need to get a wolf, which I believe the wolf is going to be right over here, one of these two guys, wolf and Frank has been damaged, there we go, okay, mission complete, let's uh, claim this one. Claim that. Okay, next. We did that one apparently already too, which would have been beast cages, repairing a beast cage, and tame one beast. Okay, and now we need to go to Coach's house. All right. So actually what what's gonna help us out here is because we then just received this ax, we will then be able to use that iron ax to um, knock down a wall at Coach's house because I believe that I've left I only left the no there should be some easier to break walls there but we'll just see we just have to break one wall and that's it off to Coach's house Taking forever to load, like normal. Any other good game, right? Just takes forever to load. Okay, so now we're here. We're here at Coach's place, and we just have to break one wall. Not gonna really matter where. And... Done. There we go, mission complete. Claim all of these things. Done. In the next mission, explore the periphery of Shelter 13, find one chest, and open the encrypted lock by the password received by the radio set. Okay, so now we have to go back to our base, 
go to the radio set, look at the Shelter 13 code, and then run back off to Shelter 13. Okay, unfortunately we do have to run all the way home, which is, means it's going to take a little bit longer to load, because for whatever reason, I guess, because of all the things that are in your base, it's just going to be more for it to load. Um, especially all the walls, the turrets, all the chests and their locations and what's in them. But I kind of expected uh, the completion of the Anderson Diary to be a lot of running back and forth, running here, running there, grabbing this information. Because, I mean, it, it did step you through the game at a somewhat reasonable direction. So it, it tries to make you complete one task, and then by completing that task, it sets you up for the next one, as that being the kind of the next thing that you need to do. Um, so if we look in on our radio, we can see the passcode is 2516. And now we just have to run back, head over to Shelter 13. And complete the step of the Anderson Diary. Okay, off to Shelter 13. Quick little jog down the road. And we'll be able to, one, explore the periphery, open the chest, and then enter the passcode. Now, I'm not sure where they're going to send us after this. Uh, I can't really recall. I know I'd done the, I've done the Anderson Diary once before playing Wasteland Survival on Steam. But I don't always remember what's all going on so here we go one chest that's done and then let's enter the passcode 2516 yes there we go mission complete and let's claim these rewards and the next one we have to explore the first floor of shelter 13 search the vending machine and kill three zombies well that's going to be easy enough for us because we've done this many times over and over and over again. Delta 13 was a XP hunting ground um, at the start of the game. It was a, a good place to go to uh, gain quick experience points and uh, move on up the levels at somewhat of a good pace. And we will just kill these three here, and that will be it for... I think I can one-hit him. Yep. I don't know how much health the engineer has. If he has 210 or less, we'll be good. 240. So we'll one-hit him with this one. 624. Bit of an overkill. But this is now done, and we can claim all of those resources. Next one, what do we have to do? Explore the second floor of Shelter 13, kill 15 zombies, and search five chests. That again is also somewhat of an easy one for us to do. And I'm kind of glad that I have some half decent weapons here to help us get through this one. Um, I don't have any guns, which is going to kind of suck, but um, like the, the putrefier is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. But so be it. We'll uh, we got a machete. The machete's gonna do enough damage to to knock him back. Okay, it's actually been quite quite a while since I've been to to Shelter 13. There, it wasn't exactly a a solid reason for me to continue to come back here once I reached level 40, because uh, there really isn't much that you can kind of do or gain from Shelter 13. Okay, that's a bunch of zombies there. And 
and I think we'll just have to kill what's in this room and outside the door. Ah, oh, not even. Okay. Nope, don't go look at this guy. Now, I'm curious if it still has the same issue it had before. And there was a hack that you could do, because I want you to open five chests, right? Well, we've only opened one, but if we open this one again, and again, and again, and again, mission complete, you don't actually have to find five separate ones. So we'll claim that, that is done. The next mission, must is to craft one iron axe and one iron pickaxe. And then I think the next place they're gonna send us after that, if I recall correctly, is I think they're gonna send us um, to Rick's house. I believe is the next one. But we're gonna have to go back to base. Once we get back to base, then we're going to have to craft the items that they would like us to craft. And then we should be able to proceed, I believe again, to Rick's house and then uh, go get that one done and dusted as well. Hey, I said to go to floor one. All right, still heading back to the base. It takes a little bit longer once you're in the depths of Shelter 13. And I, I mean, I know they're not gonna be creating any more updates for this game. That's kind of my understanding and my my guess at this point. It's been almost a year since they've touched it. So my, my guess is that it's, it's dying, it's dead, it's over. So it's too bad that they didn't expand Shelter 13 into more floors. That kind of would have been nice. Maybe a third, fourth, fifth, you know, as this thing shows all five. Brings more difficulty, more items, something of, of interest, but does not seem to be the case as to what's actually going to happen here. Uh, so yeah, we have things like the Anderson Diary to finish instead. So that's what uh, we're going to continue to do until that's done. And then we just have our raiding goals left after that. I guess we do have to clear everything in the north too. We haven't really got into that yet. So I still have to clear the hospital and all of those. So they're also going to be items that I'm going to have to address and finish and complete. What I need, from my understanding, is significantly increased amounts of firepower. Which I'm working on. That just takes time, right? So. Alright, so what they want us to do is... Actually, weapons, sorry, not equipment. We know how to make one of these bad boys. And one of these bad boys. Done. Now while I'm here, I'm just gonna get rid of some of the junk. Kinda don't need right now. Full. And you're full too, aren't you? Yep. And I'll just have to clean this up later. But yep, yeah, okay, we'll claim this reward, which is great. Yeah, getting more things that are useless, cool. Alright, raid bottle caps for any supply chest at shelter 13, kill one floater and one butcher. Okay, so that is a bit of a different task altogether. So, why don't we get ready then to go kill a butcher and a floater. We'll just take some guns. Oh, my guy smells, so now we need to have a shower, especially for st shelter 13. At least I've, I've killed some. Zombies at Shelter 13 already. I really thought that they were going to send us to Rick's house. And because of that, I'm going to still keep the axe and pick with me. So that way when they do send us to Rick's house, we can just hopefully go right after. Okay, so we want to drop these off. We are going to need that on there to fight the first floater. And we need to grab some coins. And we will actually go with the yellow ones. And we'll do a yellow box. And you'll be able to see what's in one of the yellow boxes. And the 
only need 30 of them, so that's why I'm splitting all this up. So we'll only take what we need. Oh, but see, the problem is if I'm going to take all of this in there, I'm not going to be able to take all of the good things from... Yeah, we're going to get rid of these so we can have a little bit more space. Take the good items from the yellow box. Okay, go through the door. Yeah, there you go. And you're one SMRT guy. Okay, we want to take this with us and make sure that Brutus is in top sh shape for our adventures into Shelter 13. So the nice thing is because we've already unlocked the door with the passcode, we don't need to get a passcode again until the timer refreshes and we'll be good to run in there and just mess some things up. So here we go, off to Shelter 13 once again, even though we were already there. Now when I first was doing the Anderson Diary, uh, killing uh, a floater and a butcher in Shelter 13 was a significantly more difficult and daunting task. It, it definitely seemed a lot more challenging, but at the point I am in the game, I kind of don't see any real difficulties or fears in, in fighting the, a butcher or a floater. Now the first butcher I believe is hidden behind the turret downstairs so if you don't know how to get around the turret without killing it I should be able to show you how to do that today now because we're gonna have to run past it because I didn't bring an AK so I can't outrange it but that is just the fine details we don't have to really worry about that okay so off we go to open up one of the chests first and it's gonna be a yellow one drop those coins in there oh. drop the bottle caps in there we'll take the nails oh we got a pistol cool take the health guys shotgun ammo for sure and uh, uh I think we'll take the leather. Oh, actually, we'll take the bolts because you can't make bolts. You can always make leather. Okay, and now down we go. Oh, but now I'm gonna have to fight a. F I'm gonna actually have to fight the purifier, putrefier now. Sorry, I'm so used to calling it purifier. I've been corrected so many times by different people. It's putrefier. No, I just say it wrong. Mostly out of habit. Okay, so now I need to go down and get the first floater, which is probably going to be the easiest floater. Oh no, the the floater in Departure, or not Departure, sorry, um, the Derelict Factory is a pretty easy one. But this is probably the second easiest floater you're ever going to fight. Because he's just stuck there. Oh, Brutus, don't do it. So same thing that always happens. And then you just sit here and shoot him through the door. He doesn't do anything to you, he just sits there trying to run to the door and you just shoot him till he dies. And dead. That is one of them complete, now we just got to go and find Butcher. Oh, two batteries, we'll take the batteries over the bolts. Okay. Oh, to find the Butcher. Can't go this way. We have to go the long way. Kind of sucks. So this is where we have to go to fight the purif putrefier and all of his other nasty friends. And then we have to shoot and kill this stupid thing. Okay. That 
that's now destroyed. I probably should have used the machete and sneak attack. Mosquito. Didn't quite work, but the machete is significantly faster at killing these things. So that's why I probably should have used that to start. And I'll use Lucille to kill the spiders before I use Luce, the machete and just waste durability. Okay, they're all dead. Was this another floater? I think it is another. Yep. But he again is an easy kill. He just ran in circles. Shooting him every single time. You just keep a picnic table between you and him. And he can't hit you. And down he goes. Once all of his splooge dries up, you can go in and see what he actually has to offer. Which is trash and more trash. Okay, so. I'm going to change this over to... My lovely Blade Runners. And this is how you get past the turret without it shooting you. Just like that, you can run right past them and you don't even have to fight that turret whatsoever. You don't even have to kill it. Okay, but now we have to kill this big boy. Door up. Perfect, he got stuck. That makes life easier. Okay, we'll dodge. Kind of dodge that, but press the button. Drops the drawbridge down. And now you can run them circles without having to go back by the turret. He'll be down soon. I wish there was an actual recipe to make the Blade Runner, because I'd make the shit out of this gun. Okay, what does the Butcher have to offer us? Ooh, some designs. We'll take that. And we'll take that. Okay, so let's complete the diary here. And let's see what's next. Next one is... Oh, I have to wait a countdown for it? I guess I did too many in a row. That's kind of weird. Never really uh, run into that before. Unless, well, we'll go see it on the main map. We'll see if that corresponds with any anything that I've actually done. Maybe it's sending us back to a location that we've already been. And we have to wait for that timer to expire before we can do that again. But it's not back as Shelter 13 because we know that we just came here, we just started the timer, it would have had to say something along the lines of 36 hours. But it's gotta be something else. Could be a, the Derelict Factory. I think there was a timer on that. I can't remember. We'll see once we get there. Uh, could be the old town. I don't remember going there recently. I don't think a timer is active there, but it very well could be. Or maybe they just figured, hey, we're just ripping through them too fast. There's got to be something wrong with it. And they decided that we had to, you know, cool our jets a little bit. So we'll see. I mean, regardless, we have to wait two hours before I can complete the next uh, leg of the journey. 
but I'm just kind of intrigued to see if it's actually tied to another timer somewhere. Okay, let's see. So, ah, see, Derelict Factory now has got two hours, 19 minutes. This is two hours and 10 minutes, so it doesn't quite line up to that. And Coach's House doesn't have a timer. That doesn't have a timer. Frank West's place. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that lines up to, but regardless, we can't really do anything else. That's kind of it. I can't really do much else in this episode, guys. So we'll have to pick up the Anderson Diary in another one. So that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.